Good morning, friends. It's Valerie Ling here coming to you with um, some on-the-spot reflections. I would like you to know that I am discouraged at this point in time, at this time that I'm coming to you, I am aware of an emotion of discouragement. Do you get discouraged? If you broke down the word to discourage men i find that an interesting exercise about feeling a, a lack of courage a lack of courage to keep going go forward move on with things you know it's just one of those things uh, where your best laid plans and your most well thought through intentions and strategies inadvertently hit a hiccup and of course i don't know about you What's the first thing that you might think when your plans don't go accordingly? Uh, you might actually look at yourself and perhaps say something that I've done, discouragement. And of course, that's the first thought that comes to my mind after I get an angry response and I uh, you know, go through all the situations and how it could have been fixed and how if that person had just done that or if this environment could have just been changed. That was all me last night. Right? had a beautiful, somewhat emotional, <laughs> but nevertheless, well thought through reaction to what, what's going wrong in my environment and why these problems were happening. This morning, however, I woke up and thought to myself, flip the switch, you were having an emotional reaction. It really has <laughs> got nothing to do with the environment and how things are set up. Um, this, um, the anger is the first emotion you need to really drill down and figure out what's underneath that because anger is often a secondary emotion. There's usually some things underneath that's going on, right? And as I drill down and as I drill down, I was quite aware that I think I'm basically feeling discouraged. Now, something that I automatically will say to myself is when you're discouraged or when I am discouraged, you know, and I feel like I do not have the courage, um, often say to myself it's really not about you Valerie whether you keep going or you don't keep going whether you keep doing what you do or you know whether things at home go the way they should be it's really not about you you need to let that stuff go and then I realized that gee that's a lot easier said than done when you're feeling discouraged because there is fundamentally something about the you in the picture right you've got to make a decision so even if you don't attribute uh, blame or reasoning or control to why things happen you still got to make a decision about to keep going or not so I thought to myself this this mantra doesn't work for me at the moment <laughs> because there is an element of this is something about me that I've got to work through I'd like to tell you that I've got the, all the answers I haven't really got it all right now but here's what I've arrived at for this point in time I think maybe discouragement comes from putting ourselves through a bit of an x-ray and looking at all the things that might be going wrong in that x-ray for the person that we are right now. Um, then we can say that we don't have all the answers. I think though uh, we get quite critical about the you that you're sitting in right now. So what are we now? 2019. 10 years ago, the me 10 years ago, 2000 nine was dealing with some tremendous issues i just lost a pregnancy um i just you know res res resigned from a job recreated redesigned everything about life in the world that was going to be around uh, you know having having another child and none of that eventuated and the me at that time 2009 was highly critical of a lot of things about about myself um, about my body, about my health, about my ability to have kids and all of that sort of stuff. Uh, that was 2009, right? 2010, uh, right after that incident, you know, it's like further things that I might have criticized myself about, which is the me in 2010 might have been thinking that, oh my gosh, as a mom, um, with the kids that I do have, you know, I, I need to be grateful for them. Am I grateful for them? You know, they're growing up. And it goes on and on and on and on and on. The funny thing is the me in 2019 can now with a, with a lot more compassion and a lot more insight and a lot more wisdom that basically says, you know, sitting 
10 years down the line, 2019, looking back at 2009, some of that stuff is going to lead to deeper relationships, uh, new insights about faith, uh, new directions in terms of you know you, you think that you're one you're, you're one sort of person at that point in time very much seeing myself as being going through the baby and toddler phase you know in 2019 um, that's like far distant reality so with my feelings of today i think what i'm saying to myself at this point in time stay tuned because tomorrow might develop some further insight is to actually really say that the person who I am today is not going to be the person that I am in 10 years down the line. And that maybe for now, what is occurring in this space, the setbacks, the detours, the, uh, you know, things not going according to plan, isn't really necessary for me to uh, tunnel and try to analyze and fix the me today. Maybe it's just to accept that it's the growth of me tomorrow. Does that make sense? Just sit in that space, acknowledging that discouragement is normal. It will happen. That feeling will come over you, but you don't have to fix it by trying to fix yourself right in this space. It is about accepting that the you of tomorrow, the you of five years, the you of 10 years, this is just part of that growth pathways and you never know how, if we let go of the discouragement in this point in time, what might come to us today or tomorrow or in the next few minutes. Negative emotions can just fill us and take up so much space in our world and just detract us and absorb so much of our resources. Once we figure out where that discouragement comes from, we can actually let the emotion pass through, realize that there are some things you can't fix. There are some things you're not going to be able to control. There's most things, all things you can't predict. <laughs> I haven't yet discovered the formula to predict things. And therefore, discouragement can actually just signal to us change is about to happen. Growth can happen person that you are today is becoming the person that you are tomorrow. I hope that kind of makes sense in some way. All right, take care.